Hey guys, Pogosic29 here. Welcome to episode number 42 of my Bucket Plugin Coding Tutorials. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys an introduction to Scoreboard. I have gotten a lot of requests to do it, and I recently you know, sat down for 10 minutes and figured out how to use it. It's actually very cool, and uh, in this video, I am going to teach you guys how to use it. Basically, we're going to make a simple plugin that will count the number of steps you've taken and it'll display it on a on a uh, scoreboard to the right of the screen. Um, so before we begin, I just want to say two things. The first is, um, I looked at the comments and it looks like most of you, or all of you, last I checked, were uh, wanted me to use Eclipse instead of IntelliJ. Um, I will be using IntelliJ for myself, but for the videos, I have no problem in sticking with Eclipse if that is what you guys would rather me use. The second thing is, um, some work has been uh, done on MC DevNet. I've also decided, decided to rebrand it. Um, we are naming it. Let me see if I can find our logo. We have decided to rename the company to DevMonkey, a fun, fun, more fun name. Um, basically, uh, rather than just targeting Minecraft, we are targeting all kinds of coding, Minecraft included. So that includes websites, apps, game add-ons, etc. Anything related to code, you can post on uh, DevMonkey. Um, so, some big work has been done in there, and I'm hoping it'll launch, you know, within a few weeks would be really nice, so get excited for that. That does mean that the logo contest is over, but we are still looking for PHP developers. Um, we really do need a few more people to join the team, so if you are interested, please feel free to join. Just uh, send me an email, and we'll see. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and make our scoreboard plugin. Alright, basically, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to register a few fields, a, um, a scoreboard called board. Go ahead and import scoreboard. And a, um, and I believe that is all we need. Now we're going to go ahead and do in our public void on enable. You can go ahead and say board equals bucket dot get server dot get scoreboard manager dot get new scoreboard. And what that will do is it will return a new scoreboard. The next thing we're going to want to do, and I believe we're also going to need a private objective O. An objective is basically um, base, an, an objective is basically like the category sort of and then within there I believe you can have multiple within the objective you can have multiple scores. So the objective is like the title and the scores are like the subcategories. Um, you can go ahead and write O equals bucket dot get server dot um, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead and write board dot register new objective. And uh, first, we want to say, I believe steps. And second, we want to say dummy. And the reason why it's dummy is because um, if you look at the Minecraft wiki page, which I'll link to, it will tell you that there are a few different options you can have. Uh, dummy just means it's. Um, controlled by the plugin. Uh, there's one for like the number of deaths, one for the health, uh, one for the number of kills, you know, just a few different options to put there. But in this case we just want um, it to be a uh, dummy objective. Okay, now we're going to want to add a um, two events, a player join and a player move. So, implements listener. Okay. So we're gonna go to uh, wanna type at event handler public void on player join and this is a player join event and we can go ahead and just say player p equals e dot get player 
just it's it helps me. Then we can go ahead and say um, p dot set scoreboard board. So that's setting their correct scoreboard. You can only have one scoreboard, but you can have multiple objectives and within that multiple scores. Which reminds me, um, when we do O, we want to go ahead and say O dot set display name, and this is um, this is like the this is like the title name, which I guess would be steps. And then you want to go ahead and say O dot set display slot, and type display slot dot. And you have three options, below name, player list, or sidebar. We're going to go ahead and use sidebar for this one. So, now what we want to do is, um, I believe we want to say O dot. Oh yeah, I believe one more thing we want to do is O dot, let me find the right method. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is, um, we're going to want to have a custom name for the, you know, score, which is the number of, so we're going to go ahead and do a private score S, and we want to go ahead and say S equals O dot, um, get score, and then this takes an offline player, so you can give it an, a player. But what you're probably going to want to do um, is you can say get offline player, and then we can say um, chat color dot let's say green plus um, oh dot get uh, plus uh, number because that as in like the because the title is steps, and then number is in like you know the number of steps. So now what we're going to want to go ahead and do is we want to write s dot set score. Hmm, it's odd. All right. So I believe what we want to do is we want to type. Um, we want a uh, player move event. Now, first what we want to do is we need to check if um, player move event is fired, and I don't know why, but the player move event is fired even when the, um, the player moves their head, so if the pitch or yaw changes and not the X, Y, and Z, the event is still fired. So we want to say if e.getfrom.getx equals e dot get two dot get x and you can go ahead and copy that and do and paste and paste and I just commented it and then change it to e and e dot get y equals get y and e dot get z equals get z then return so if the x y and z are all the same as in if the player only change their picture y'all like they they looked around the event is not fired only if they actually move then we want to go ahead and say s dot set score s dot get score plus one and i believe that should work so let's see there is uh, we don't we don't need this all right so this should work we want to go ahead and export this. You know, I do believe that there's one. I do believe that we need to have the score individual for each player. So we're going to go ahead and want to do a private hash map of offline player and score. Um, scores equals new hash map offline player score. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to save all of this information. So, in order to do that, you're going to want to, you know, have a uh, configuration file and save and load the information. If you guys don't know how to do that, I guess I could make a video and show you. So, now what we want to do, I believe that we don't want that. Hang on a second. 
So what we want to do now is when the player joins, I believe we want to say if um, uh, scores dot get for p um, equals null uh, scores dot put p comma uh, o dot get score for new offline player. Sorry for um, bucket dot get server uh, and we don't want that to be new bucket dot get server dot get offline player check color dot green plus um, number and I believe that should work and then we want to go ahead and say scores dot get e dot get player dot set score scores dot get e dot get player dot get score so now uh, and then uh, plus one so we're adding one to their current score now I believe this should work because before we only had one score but I think that every player needs their own score and the reason why I'm using offline player instead of player is a memory leak issue I believe offline player is okay I know that a lot of people use strings I believe that offline player does not cause the memory issue. If I'm mistaken, please comment, and I will fix it. So, let's go ahead and start up our server, and steps did load without an error, so we can go ahead and open up Minecraft, and join our local host, and... That's odd. Hmm. That is quite odd. Let me see. Oh, I believe I know why. I was um, testing out scoreboard earlier today because I knew that I needed to make a video on it and I wanted to make sure that I was good. So I did a little test and I don't think I removed the testing plugin. So, let's see, now I joined and it did not set my scoreboard. I believe I may have made a mistake. Hmm. Hang on one second. That's quite odd. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and make it work. So, I figured out the problem. There are actually two problems. The first was that I did not register the events. It seems like such a silly mistake to make, and I'm sure that most of you guys uh, caught that and were screaming at the video at how stupid I am for missing it, but you would be surprised how many times um, it has gotten people. You think everything's right because it is right, and then you realize that you didn't register the events. Um, the second thing is, before down here I had um, get X and get X and get Y and get Y, and the problem is, what, what that does is every time you move, no matter what, it adds one to the count. So what I did is I changed it to, to block X, so it only um, it only adds one to your score if you you know get a if you move for move a block. So uh, let's see, I die. But as you can see, my current number is forty seven, and as I move, the number of steps increases. As I move from block to block, the number of steps does increase. So. Um, Yes, that is all for this episode. It is an intro to, um, it is an intro to, uh, scoreboard. If you guys, uh, have any more scoreboard questions, uh, if you don't know how to do something, if you want to know how to, like, set the, the thing that appears under the player, um, which it's just display slot dot, um, like, below name instead of sidebar, uh, or if for whatever reason the code isn't working, or you don't know how to save the player scores to a hash map, and I believe I did 
do hash maps in a video, I don't know if I did saving, just uh, leave a comment and I'll put it on my list of things I need to do. Um, so that's all for this video, Intro to Scoreboards. As always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want. Com sorry, let me start again. Comment with what you want to learn, and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.